everybody, welcome to the Doll Circle, and thank you so much, Playmates, for sending me everything in this video for free to share with all of you. I am so excited to open up this. I'm gonna call it like a dollhouse. I mean, it's basically a bedroom balcony playset, but it's, I mean, it's like a mini house. It's a mini dollhouse. <laughs> it's like a, a piece of her house, and we have her house and four dolls that was sent to me, like I said, from Playmates. I'm so excited to get her out of the package. She looks so cute. I, re I honestly, like, I really am glad that they did send me this version of the doll because I have played with other versions of them in their superhero outfits, but this one I was just like, I just like her like that. I think she's so cute. I love her blue hair and I like that she doesn't have a mask covering her eyes. This is like her casual wear and it matches the doll that's in the picture of the dollhouse box. Now this playset is 25 inches tall and comes with all of these pieces here. Cannot wait to put her room together. The roof flips open so she can hang up on the rooftop and then also comes with a desk. And I know what you're thinking, enough chit chatting about the box. Let's open it up and build her house. So I've got all the pieces out and I've got my instructions cause you know, need those instructions. The only thing I want to bring up is, do you see how warped? this plastic is. I wonder if that's how the house is supposed to be, but it's warped and the paper is kind of coming off a little bit and a little peeling up here that I had to put tape on. So, hmm, I wonder if it was just like the pressure of being in the package warped it a little bit, but if you are purchasing this, keep that in mind. Uh, I will put it all together. It may not even be a big deal, but I just wanted to at least film out of box that this was warped and peeling on the paper a little bit. So first off, a little concerned, but like I said, let me build it. You may not even see the warping in there, so we'll see. So we're in a different space. As you can see, I decided to move where there's a lot of natural light to give you a better close up experience and see how this works. New filming location. Uh, it only took me like 15 minutes to build, so it's super easy to put together. Let's zoom in and get a little closer to the first room here, because the second floor is really like her roof, but kind of also a room too. Now, I built everything, put it all in there, really easy to assemble. We got the floor, we have this rug, which is honestly just like a sticker. I don't know, it feels more like a rubbery sticker kind of feeling to it. Uh, it does come with a purse, so you get her little purse to go there too, it has a little M. For her on there so sweet i like that you can put little things in there if you wanted to i love the desk it's very ikea looking <laughs> it's like an ikea looking desk and an ikea looking chair the chair does not roll it just has like stationary balls on it like like it's supposed to look like wheels but it's not really wheels and she has a laptop desk which again like i said looks very much ikea we have her little friend here hold on let me get a little close-up of this one which i think is the same one that comes with her dressed up as her ladybug self. I like that I put it on her desk. The laptop isn't functional, like it doesn't close, open and close, it's just like a regular piece of plastic. The keys are colored and it kind of does look like a Mac, not gonna lie, it does look very Mac-like. And <laughs> But it's cute though and it works and it looks good in pictures because that's what she would be on, you know, when she's on the show. Now she is very, I was surprised how articulated she is going into the doll here for a moment because she has a lot of articulation. In her leg, she has the three point articulation so she can do like a cool like slide in, like, just like her sliding in on the floor type of look. I like how much articulation she has. She is a different frame. Like I feel like, here, let me zoom out so you can get a better look. I feel like she looks a lot more petite than a lot of other dolls, but to me she looks very accurate to the cartoon. Like this is the framing and the like sizing for the cartoon, so I like how they kept it real in that sense. Like it doesn't look, I, this one thing I don't like if they're trying to do a doll from a show and it does not look like the show at all. No, this one actually does look like from the show. She has head articulation where it goes left and right. She has her little earrings. I love the blue colored hair, so pretty and vibrant. I love that she has articulated knees, like really good articulated knees. Uh, she does have articulation in the elbows and in the wrists. She can't swivel her waist, unfortunately. Uh, no ankle articulation, but that's okay with me. I think she still looks really, really cute. I love her outfit. I think it just looks just like from the show. These dolls are about $17 and the house is about $50. So if you go toy hunting, you know what you're looking for. And then let me see, does she have three point articulation in her shoulders? I don't know. Oh yeah, 
yes, she does in her elbows. She has three point articulation as well. So kind of almost giving us a made to move Barbie kind of moment to it. <laughs> I'm surprised by that. Because for $17, they're giving us a lot of articulation. And I think the other Ladybug dolls that I've played with before and opened before didn't have as much articulation. So this is really good. I love this a lot. And it just helps her to sit in her chair so much easier. Now, she also does have a bed, which is kind of more like a chase. A, ch a chase? A chase? <laughs> I always say just like a chase sounds, but I know I'm probably wrong with how I say that. And it's just really simple plastic, but I feel like you can add a little pillow. You can add a little blanket to it. I mean, I would have liked to have seen those two things. I think would have made it look more cute and cozy and more detailed, but mm, I guess you can get everything you want. <laughs> uh, also in this room, you do get a mirror, which is just a sticker. It's not a real mirror. As you can see, you can kind of see yourself in it if you get really close, but yep, just a cute little mirror there. I do like the inside of the house though. So let me move the doll here. So the inside of the house, it does have the shaping of an actual room. There's texturing, it's detailed. I like that there is also, let me rotate this here that you do have a poster on the wall. It makes it more, like I said, accurate. It looks real. It looks like something that you would actually have in the show. I like the detailing through the window as well. It's cute. I'm really happy with this. Like so far, I'm loving this. Now going up to the second floor. Now I love the balcony. Let me stand her up there. The balcony is cute. I feel like it's interesting because obviously it looks like from the show. That's a big thing it's from the show. Let me sit her up there. Can she sit on her seat up there? Yeah, she can. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so she's just, you know, wheeling up on that chair. She's just sitting up there. <laughs> they look so interesting looking. I do like the sizing to it and the style. I like the coloring. Now, the issue that I had with a little bit of this being warped, it still is a little warped, as you can see, because I thought maybe putting it together would stop the warpingness to happen. Um, as I rotate this, you can see that it is kind of warped. I tried pushing it and straightening it. It's not really working for me for some reason. Um, I don't want to bend it too much. So that was one thing I did notice is that it is a little bent, but I think it was just from the packing. So hopefully it'll straighten out over time. And as I turn this around, give you a little spin here, you can see the detailing to the outside of the house here. Uh, I, I like it. I really feel like it looks like I'm looking at the show. And this also pops up so you can get a doll to go through the top of the roof there. I think she's so sweet. I love it. I love the way this top does look. Again, the warpingness does bother me, but all the other detailing to it does look really, really cute and sweet. And I do like, let me show you the outside here. And then here's the outside of the, or the backside, I guess you would say, of the house. It, it's cute. I like that it's literally just like a roof that they cut off and they turned into a dollhouse because not everybody has room for a 20 foot dollhouse size dollhouse in their room. I totally get it. Someone who's like living in an, a smaller home or an apartment, I think this is such a good idea to do a smaller house like this. And I love this outside. Like the detail on the outside is so nice. I hate when you get a dollhouse and it's just a flat piece of plastic or they put a sticker on it. That doesn't really do anything for me. Like I love the detailing there. Now there isn't detailing here on this brick. This is just a sticker, which I said, like I said, mine's kind of peeling off there. Uh, that, I, you know, that's basic, but this is so pretty. It's so pretty, so detailed. Let me know in the comments what you think of The Miraculous Show and also this awesome bedroom slash rooftop playset and the dolls in general. I mean, Playmates is doing a lot now with dolls. Like they're doing this, the Billie Eilish doll, they have more stuff coming. And I just love the aesthetic and the look of this rooftop house slash bedroom <laughs> so much. So thank you so much for Playmates for sending me this to share with all of you. Check out all the links in the description below for more content from me. And like I said, let me know what you think of Miraculous and her and the house. And I, don't know, just, I, I really do like it. Again, the warping thing I feel like is just like a, something just being packaged in the box. I don't feel like that from a design aspect and everything else, I totally, love this house. I think it's so cute. And that's one thing I think sizes of like dollhouses scare people sometimes. That's why parents don't want to buy them for their kids. But this is totally cute. And look, she's just hanging out on her rooftop. So cute. Just waving hello to all of everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm.